Jogged dimensions. Jog lines are used to represent a dimension value that does not display the actual measurement in a linear dimension. Typically, the actual measurement value of the dimension is smaller than the displayed value. Look at this example here. We have a concrete slab that may be very large. So we add a break into it so we can make it look a little bit smaller. That way when we put it into model space and get ready to print it onto a piece of paper, we can fix the size the way it looks and it looks a little bit better. Well, let's go ahead and come to the annotate tab. First, you have this file yourself too. You can go ahead and open a new project, browse to your chapter nine folder, and then go to jog dimensions. I'll go ahead and cancel this because I already have it open myself. Well, under the annotate tab, under dimensions panel, this icon here represents your jog dim line. Let's look at the tooltip for a second. If you hover your mouse over it, you can see there's a part and it has a few cutoffs, or breaks, so it doesn't show the entire piece. Well, let's go ahead and dimension this object here. I'll go ahead and pick the linear dimension, span out a bit, and if I place a line here and a line here and pull all the way out, currently this is measuring 600 units. Now we don't need to worry too much yet right now what the units are. The idea is this point here to this point here is 600 units. But let's say this is actually supposed to represent 1000 units. But we don't actually see that because we have this break here. So we're going to have to adjust this value to represent the true value that it's supposed to be. We can go ahead and double click this. And then we get into the text editor. We can type the value that it should be. Right now the cursor is at this point here. We can select this, make sure it's deleted, and we can hit 1000. Because that's the value that we want. We can add as many decimals as needed because we are basically overriding the actual dimension of this line. Once we're done, we'll go ahead and close this. And now we have our value of 1000. We can always grab this, stretch it around as needed. We can still pull it back to adjust our grips. But we want to make sure to specify to those that are looking at this design that from this point to this point, it's not actually measured a thousand. We actually entered it ourselves. I'll go ahead and hit escape to deselect this. So now I can go ahead and choose this jog. And AutoCAD is asking me to select the dimension to add a jog to. I will select this dimension. And now I have to specify the location of the jog itself. I will select the point here and now I added a jog. So now anyone looking at this line will recognize that this line is actually broken and it should be a lot longer and really be a thousand. But if we were to measure it, the value wouldn't actually show 1000. I can always select the jog, select remove, and I can select the jog to remove and remove it. Let's go ahead and add it back in, select the dimension, select location to place it and then we're done. If I select it I can always move the jog line as needed. I can always move the override value as needed as well. 